I'm going to show y'all the secret about making this thing. So instead of it saying pow, it goes boom. Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bad to the bone subwoofer box. Like what I call the bottom piece. You need two of these. One for the bottom and one for the top. It's 18 and a half times 17 and three quarters. Okay, the piece I got laying on the table is this bottom piece right here. And there it is right there. Let me get my camera set up here. Alright. Now, see, I've got this laid out where, where this is the speaker hole. Just like this. And this is 14 and 3 quarters by 14 and 3 quarters. And when you put this together, I've done I've done put this together. But you want to make sure that you do a dry fit. And make sure all your all your stuff's matching up good. And I've got me some uh, liquid nail out here. And I ain't gonna show you every little bitty thing. I'm just gonna show you the important stuff, you know. So, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get in there and, and shoot a screw underneath this. And this piece goes right on the edge of this end. This right here will be the port. You know what they say on the TV show Gold Rush? He's only got one shot at this. <laughs> I, I heard him say that. Only got one shot on the how many times. When you see it do that right there, that means you know you got it right. All right, I'm going to lay this back down. Remember this, it, it, it don't matter. But I'm kind of looking at it like this is the bottom. And it don't matter if this is the top or the bottom. But that's how I'm kind of keeping track of it, you know. All right, then I got this piece right here. And this is... You know, th this is where the port is. So, cut this square, and, and you know that this won't go but so far. And then you got this piece right here that wraps on a ram that is uh, 14 and 3 quarters by 7. Alright, I'm going to put some on this. I'm going to go ahead and do this right now. Let me tell you something. I've seen some of them YouTube videos. And I want to say that once you, that just because, just because you got a fancy looking box don't mean nothing. Uh, you know, that speaker don't care how fancy the box looks. And there ain't nothing wrong with having a fancy box. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But I'm just, what I'm telling you is, is that don't mean it's a good one. Go ahead and put this on. You want to make sure you drill your holes, you know, drill pilot holes in it. This wood right here, man, it's real good for speakers, but really that's probably about all it's good for. All 
right, I'm, I got my, my piece laid in place. And I'm going to take a magic marker. Magic marker. I ain't heard that in a long time. But I'm going to mark out where this goes. And that makes me know where to put my liquid nail at. So, now it's time to do that. And sometimes, you know us video creators, sometimes we say the same thing twice. But, man, it's hard to know what you thought about saying and what you said. Even though I ain't got very many videos on this channel, I ain't no beginner. I, I got, uh, I got three more channels. I'm going to put some on this too. And don't be afraid to put your fingers in it. And man, they got some good boxes that they sell, you know, on the internet. I I started to trying to buy one, but I couldn't get one just exactly what I want. And I knew that this was a real good box. I mean real good. And and uh and I cut this with a skill saw, y'all. Now I got a table saw over there that I could have ripped everything out perfect. But I done it with a skill saw, you know, for the beginner, because if you're an expert, you ain't even watching this to start with unless you're just looking to make sure I'm doing a good job. But uh, this right here is ready to be put on. These are sheet rock screws and they two inches long. And uh I wanna tell you this. I'm gonna put a filler inside this box. And I got a set of drums in there. And you take that big bass drum apart and you put something in there to make it sound better. And man the difference. Is between night and night and day. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and screw this up from the bottom, and screw this, and then be right back. All right, you know, here's my piece right here that I'm gonna screw. Say, so, well, I don't know where to put my screws. I'm gonna show you a trick. I'm gonna put me a ruler right here, and uh, I'm just holding my fingers on. I ain't even looking at the measurement. But I know that that's where my board is up under there. That's where it starts at. So I'll be putting my holes down here. See what I mean? All right, I'm going to keep you straight. That's the front. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the opposite end. And it's time to put the back piece on. I've already got it cut, but it is the, you know, it's the distance of this and as high as this. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw that on, be right back. All right, see, I got my back piece on there. I wanna keep me and you straight, you know. And we'll go to squaring up in a minute. We there's plenty of time left for that. So we're back here to the front. So we can either put the side piece on or let, let me just look here. Okay, still got what I'm calling the front right here to where it's been the whole time. But this board that goes right here is the distance between this and this and as tall as this. 
I'm going to uh, set this up there. This is part of your port here. And I'm going to put that on there. I'll be right back. Oh, and I'm right back to where I'm at. Kind of watch what I'm doing here because I'm keeping up with the light. I got a light out here. I ain't want to light up too good. But now it's time to put the, the side piece in. And you want to measure down here. Don't measure up here because this ain't right here ain't exactly right. Measure down here across and then up to here. And I got the piece right here. See, I could give you the measurement and it's liable to be an eighth off. But if you do like what I'm talking about, you know, yours will be right. I seen some of them people doing this. They cabinet makers, or their boss man's cabinet makers, because I recognize the equipment they had in there. And them people's good, boy. They're good now. If you, if people that make kitchen cabinets, that 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 stuff has to be. It has to be perfect. It ain't like this right here. Can be close. You see how I'm putting this right here on there? This does two two different things. It closes up any little gaps you got, like from the saw blade or 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 just a, a tiny miss cut. But it also gluing it and and making it airproof too. Okay, here's my front. Right here where the speaker is. Here's the side. Hey y'all, I realize how simple I'm saying all this stuff. But I'm doing it this is for the novice. Everything that that we screwed on is screwed on top of that first piece that I started with. See this? I want you to see. And this is two inch ports. This right here is a real bad box, I can tell you. But I wouldn't I, I wouldn't be making it. If there was something I could that I could make that was better, trust me, I would do it. I got my hole cut out and I have sanded it up some. And I'm going to spray this on the inside and the outside of the box. I'd rather, I'd rather use this than I had carpet. Now, this is a bed armor. And, you know, it's... See, it ain't a slick finish. Y'all know what bed liner stuff is. But, man, I got a feeling this right here do pretty good. I'm fit to try it. I ain't read no directions. I'm just going to spray some on like I do... Like as if I was doing car paint. You know, put some on and, and uh come back and put some more on in a few few minutes, you know, like whenever it feels like it's dry. But y'all, I got a feeling. I don't know why. I just think this will do pretty good. Like I say, now I know from playing the drums, man, the, like uh, uh there's a difference between an empty box and, and something in there. And I and I'm gonna show you that what I put in there. I ain't decided yet. I got it up about as close as I can get. Watch how it splats on. I mean, I think that'd be good, don't y'all? Well, I'm waiting for my box. Let me show y'all this. See my skill saw laying right there? See my table? Look at this right here. I'm going to put a stereo in that boat. And it's going to be two amps. I already got some... Here's the speakers I'm going to use. I'm, I got to cover them or spray them. I might do that. There's my saw I was talking about. So you don't have to have no table saw to make a subwoofer box. All right, I ain't going to be talking about this no more, but I want to show you something I found out like the best way to do this. Hold your can as you get it sprayed a little bit. Hold your can back a little ways and let it splatter. I figured out that that's a good way to do it. Take a look at this stuff right here. I don't know what you call that, but it come out of a chair. I'm sure you can do a little digging and find out, 
But I've actually done a test of this on them kicker speakers over there. And it sounds better. Do not use fiberglass. Uh, you, you, you don't want to be breathing no fiberglass particles that you can't even see. All right, I got this laid out like the way that this going to go. I'm going to put me some of this uh, spray on it. You see my can's about shot out. But I think I can make it one more time just for the good times. All right, I'm going to cut the camera. When you spray that stuff, you you wait 30 seconds. And uh, instead of your speaker saying, like, blam, that joker will have some pop to it. Hey, I've done this stuff right here my whole life, man. And you notice that I glued this, glued the wrong side, so I got to cut this off because that's where that piece of pole it is. And I'm going to just take it and stick it right over here. How about that right there? Now I'm spraying my board down. I may spray the, my board. And you know what? I think I might even spray this a little bit. How about that? I got this all but through, y'all. I, I got to put this on there. I don't know where I'm going to put it at, the reason I ain't doing it. And I ain't got nothing to hook this up to show you this right here, right now. But but I'll have this, like, playing within days. I had not got nothing to hook it to yet. I got my amps and all that in, but I'm going to hook it up over here on the table. You might want to subscribe to me. I'm going I'm to show you some stuff.